Nothing screams American more than being summoned for jury duty and voting, I guess. Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of Vlogmas. I was gonna start this tomorrow, but I figured I would do a little intro today. Tomorrow is election day, and tomorrow I also have jury duty for the very first time ever. Nothing screams American more than being summoned for jury duty and voting. I don't know what to really expect. I've never done it before. I've only heard stories. I just like respectfully, I don't want to get chosen. And then at some point I do plan on going to the polls and voting because that is also very important. I also finally finished putting up the rest of my Christmas decorations, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. To end the night, I am going to watch more of the new season of Manifest. I am only on episode three. The new season came out on Friday. Today it is Monday. I have been purposely like waiting a little bit because I kind of want to savor the season a little bit because there's only 10 episodes. It is such a good season. If you watch Manifest, let me know what you thought of the season. No spoilers, of course. Before I go, let me show you guys the new stuff I put in my room for Christmas. It wasn't much because I realized I really didn't have that many more things. So the biggest change is my tree. I was finally able to plug in my little on and off switch for my tree so that I don't have to keep plugging it in and out. I can just step on it and then the lights are off. I finally added my bow on top of my tree and it looks super cute. This CD has survived so many falls today because my dumbass was like struggling putting on this bow but it worked out. I think now the tree is finally done. Like it looks complete. I have this glass tree from TJ Maxx that I got last year. I really like this. It's super cute. When the sun hits it, it looks so pretty. Days until a Christmas sign that I just hung up over here. And then tonight I added my night before Christmas board. And I think that's it. So yeah, not much in my room this year for Christmas, but it's kind of perfect. I will see you all tomorrow morning, up bright and early for jury duty. I was just like, because I'm starting Vlogmas early, I feel like this is something that I should at least try vlogging part of. Like, you're not gonna see me in the courtroom vlogging, of course, but good luck to me. <laughs> to make this as short and quick as possible because I do have to go back in there soon and my anxiety about this whole thing is like starting to rise so I've been here since 8 o'clock it is 9 30 right now um, we are already on an hour break I guess um, I already forget the name the bigger court they don't need any jurors I might be here like literally all day the court officer was like yeah expect to be here all day like we're estimating around like 4 30 and i was like i only brought water with me and my dumbass decided to eat my banana literally as soon as i got here um so now i have no snacks <laughs> it said in the phone call to bring lunch and snacks and whatever but i didn't want to <laughs> i should have done it the court officer was like oh there's a duncan around the corner blah 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 but i don't want to leave and risk being late so I'm here now in my car, and the only reason why I came back in my car is because I'm gonna grab my book. Let me just be real with you guys, like, hopefully those with, like, social anxiety will understand me, but my social anxiety is, like, so triggered by this whole thing. It's really not that bad. So far, it's not bad. It's just my anxiety, like, being around this large group of people. But I saw all these people with, like, bigger bags and everything, and so I was really anxious to bring my book with me. So currently, I'm reading I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy, and it's really, really good. But I haven't had that much time to really read, so I was like, oh, I'll bring it with me. They said to bring reading material. I think I'm just gonna take the cover off because... I don't know, like, even when I read this book at work, people are like, oh, what are you reading? And then I'm like, oh, I'm glad my mom died. And people are like, oh, nice. So that's my experience so far. So far, it's not bad. I'm just mad that I didn't bring anything to eat. Like, I really should have just 
brought something just in case. This is your tip. When they tell you bring a lunch, just do it. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyways, I'm anxious and I want to get back in there. I'm gonna go for now. That was my little update about jury duty so far. It is currently noon time. Happy to report that I was dismissed. Um, I was really nervous for a second that I wasn't going to be. Obviously for legal reasons, I can't really talk about anything. It was a lot of waiting around. It wasn't as bad as I had thought it would be, which is good, but oh my God, my anxiety was like insane. <laughs> oh, those are a lot of birds. Let me show you all the birds right now because... Hello, do you see this? I know there's like a lunar eclipse going on, but Jesus Christ, it's like kind of scary. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A and then I'll continue the conversation there because I just feel awkward like vlogging outside of a courthouse and I'm really, really hungry. Anyways, I'm going to Chick-fil-A. I'm so hungry. Okay, bye. I'm currently in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. Every time I go to Plymouth, I'm just in the mood for Chick-fil-A and I went to Plymouth a few weeks ago. I did not get Chick-fil-A because I had to leave early due to some things. I'm here now. Basically, my number was called, we were in the courtroom. It actually was pretty cool to like go in and see what it's like in person because again, I've never been in a courtroom before. Like I've only seen stuff on TV. So it was kind of cool. Um, it was definitely a smaller case. Like it was a very small room, but yeah, so that was my experience and my number did get called up. I didn't have to say anything. I got dismissed at noontime and now I'm at Chick-fil-A. That was definitely an experience. I'm gonna get my food and then when I get home, we are going out to vote. I hope that everyone who was registered to vote today actually went out and voted because this election is arguably more important than the presidential election. I mean, we're talking like basic human rights that are being stripped away from us, especially women. So I hope you did your part and voted. I'm home now finally after a very long day. I just got back from voting. I got my sticker and everything. And now I'm just gonna chill. I know Taylor Swift literally said to me directly that even if I didn't get a sticker, my voice still matters for voting. But this is my first time voting where I finally got a sticker. The last few times I voted, I did not get a sticker. So I'm gonna be really excited about that. So I'm back home now and I'm eating my salad from 99. It is so good. If you're ever in New England or if you live here and you go to 99, get the honey mustard chicken salad because it's so bomb. So Alicia Marie, she just released her collab with Case Defy. I was watching her new video on like behind the scenes of her little photo shoot with, for Case Defy. And um, I remembered that I have this and because it's officially Vlogmas on my channel, I just had to do it. happy wednesday november 9th and my camera is dying of course it is um it's 9 20 in the morning and i just woke up like a couple hours ago i haven't really done anything but another exciting thing i get the rest of my midnight cds today i bought five altogether okay on taylor's website I bought the original one that I got in the mail. I bought a signed jade green one that did arrive. Um, and then I got the rest of the three remaining limited edition ones. I made the mistake of ordering them all in the same transaction. The three of them that are coming today. I got a processing email three weeks ago and they're finally out for delivery today. And I know what you're thinking, like three weeks, like, come on, Megan, it's not a big deal. They just wouldn't really update me on any tracking type of thing. And that's what really made me annoyed. I was like, am I getting these? Are they like lost in the mail? Like what's going on? So it's not the length of time that they are coming in. It's more so the fact that I had no updates on like when they were coming in. Wow. Good job, Megan. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen at some point. Okay, that could have been worse. My camera's still alive, so that's... <laughs> I'm 
so stupid. This is what happens when you make YouTube videos. You do stupid shit like this. Okay. Let me just put you on a candle or something then. Hello, it's been like an hour or so later. I don't even know. I wanted to test out a cool item that I got literally like five months ago. <laughs> just never went ahead to try it because I wanted to save it for either a vlog or like a TikTok or something. So anyways, at TJ Maxx many months ago, I got this heat changing mug. So when it's cold, it's all black like this. But when it's hot, it turns into this and it just looks very cool. So I'm about to make myself a cup of hot chocolate. I'm going to use my Keurig um, or my mom's I should say. And we're gonna put hot water in this so that I can make my hot chocolate. And then let's see it change color. Oh, wait, oh my God. Stop, that is so cool. Oh my God. And the water is filled all the way up to the very top. Look at that. Damn, it actually worked. That is very, very cool. It looks like this now. I don't think anyone likes hot chocolate as much as I do. I make this shit, like all the time. CDs are finally here. Let's go grab them. Okay, so I only have a few minutes to do this because I am meeting my friend at Target. She just uh, texted me saying that she was in our town. She doesn't live here anymore, so whenever she is here and I'm not busy, she's like, oh, let's meet up. So I'm gonna meet her at Target. Yay, socializing. I do have my box. They have paper over them, so that's nice. Plenty of confetti. Yes, I still keep it. I don't know why, I just do. And there they are. This is the Midnight's Blood Moon edition. This is the Mahogany edition. This is the Jade Green collection. Why am I saying collection? Edition. And then down here I have the original Midnight CD. So I've already seen the inside of the uh, Jade Green one, but we're gonna open it anyway, just for funsies. I love the way that the CDs look. If I had a record player, I would definitely buy the vinyls, but I just do not have the room nor do I have a record player, so I cannot play them. So the CDs will do for now, but the CDs are just as pretty. This is the Mahogany Edition. I've actually grown to really like this picture. So this is the Mahogany Edition. And last but not least, I think the Blood Moon Edition was my favorite cover besides the Jade Green one. This is the Blood Moon Edition. I just really love the colors for this album. These are all of my CDs right over here, but this whole stack over here is just my Taylor ones, and then I have Ariana too. But most of this is just Taylor, so I have my rep magazines, I have the four lover books, and then I have pretty much every single album of hers. Let's see how many we can fit in here, because we are literally running out of room. So this is the standard version of Midnight. Another version of Midnight, Jade Green. Mahogany. I could probably fit like three more CDs. Maybe two if I'm lucky. I'm gonna have to figure out a place to put more of my Taylor CDs. Hey guys, I was gone for about two-ish hours. Um, I just got back home now. I did bring my camera with me, but I just didn't vlog. I'll show you guys a little bit of a haul of what I got. I did buy one thing for my mom for Christmas, so I'll save that. Maybe I'll do like a separate video of me just wrapping up Christmas presents. It was super random. I saw it in TJ Maxx and I was like, oh, I feel like she would like that. So I just bought it for her. Uh, the first thing I got is this body pillow over here. I really wanted to get a new one. That was literally the only thing on my list and I was like, if I find it, then I'll get it. I got a couple more ornaments. Shocking, I know. I found this Central Perk ornament right over here from Friends and I just thought that it was like really, really cute. If you don't know, Friends is one of my favorite TV shows. This might not come across as shocking to you all. I love Winnie the Pooh. I got two ornaments. I got another Winnie the Pooh ornament, so this is what it looks like. It's him with a Santa hat. So Winnie the Pooh is my favorite Disney character of all time. Uh, my mom's favorite Disney character besides Jack Skeleton is Eeyore. And I found an Eeyore one and I was like, oh my God, this is perfect for my mom. So when she comes home later on, then I can give her this one. And then at TJ Maxx, this is the Cream Shop Moisturizing Macaroon Lip Balm. And it's a Winnie the Pooh one. Are we shocked? I don't think so. 
look at how cute i just bought this solely for the packaging like i just i love it last month i was at tj maxx and they had every single character except for Pooh. last time i was there i got myself piglet eeyore and tigger as usual, I gave Eeyore to my mom because my mom loves Eeyore. I kept Tigger and Piglet for myself. Piglet and I are one and the same, so. I'm gonna eat the rest of my food and then I'm gonna edit some more. Um, and I have no idea what I'm gonna do after that. But I will see you all before I say goodnight, so. Hey guys, so it is many hours later. It is 10.26 at the date today. Yeah, today is November 9th. We're already over a week into November. <laughs> Time is scary. I made myself a pumpkin spice white Russian right over here. Thank you all so much for watching episode two. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you all in the next episode of Vlogmas. Bye.